Welcome back. From machines that draw your blood to tech giants selling medical equipment, the worlds of digital health and medicine continue to mix and expand daily. And of course, here to tell us more is tech consultant and host of the podcast, Think About This. Please welcome Shelly Palmer. Shelly, so glad to have you with us here this Tuesday. We missed you. Yeah, I'm back. So, really interesting. Apple has been selling one drop online for a long time. One drop is a single drop of blood you take if you're diabetic and it analyzes your blood. Now they're going to sell it in their stores directly. And what this means to some people is nothing, but to other people who are watching Apple closely, Tim Cook has made an unbelievable commitment mm -hmm. to healthcare mm -hmm. and changing the way healthcare is done. Now, you know, Apple is really into encryption and privacy. So your data on your iPhone is very private. That's in the news all the time about how you can't get into an iPhone and police can't get the private data. Yeah. Well, that's bad in some cases, you know, with respect to maybe crimes, but with respect to your health care, it's amazing. And so you now can go in the Apple store and for 70 bucks, you can buy a test kit. And when you test your blood, your iPhone is involved. Wow. The data is stored in Apple Health Kit and through Apple Health. And this has really wide reaching ramifications for all of us. As healthcare gets more expensive, as it becomes more complicated, as your one doctor is not your doctor anymore. Everybody's going to specialists all over the place. Right. How you aggregate your own health care and how you become your own health care advocate is really, really important. And so Apple has got a solution. Apple Health Kit is a part of the iPhone ecosystem, the iOS ecosystem. And when you're wearing an Apple Watch and you've got an iPhone and you put a third party app, app and device like OneDrop, all of a sudden, you start to build your own medical database about your health and about the things that are important to you that you can track and analyze. And that is amazing because you'd never personally be able to do that before in an understandable way. You'd yeah. need a, a medical professional, and now you still do, but now you're going to have much more uh, of an understanding of your own health through um, the, the Apple Health Kit. So that was really cool, and I thought that was worth it. And for $70, dollars you now walk in the Apple store and get it. They've been selling these kinds of kits online for a long time. But you can see there's a shift happening now, and it's really, really good, I think. Who would benefit from something like One Drop? Well, I, I think everybody who has uh, diabetes will tell you that checking your blood every day comes in a lot of different, you know, styles of, of inconvenience. Some right. people wear a constant monitor, some people uh, prick their finger every day, and there's a, a lot of different ways that it's done. This is a relatively painless, literally, literally One Drop um, a A1C tester. So. Yeah. To me, it wasn't so much that the kit became available in the store as what that means overarchingly to healthcare at Apple and their commitment. And that, to me, is a big change, especially as we start talking about healthcare in the election cycle and mm -hmm. what does healthcare mean? It's like, yeah. wait, you can be an advocate for yourself across the board in certain ways, sure. and technology is empowering that. And I think that's important for people to know. Right, kind of a sign of what's to come. Yeah. And you mentioned something actually really cool um, off camera before you came on was robots that are drawing blood. Yeah. And I think this is so incredible. So, <laughs> Seeing yes. people that have gone through like and my brother was premature I remember they had pricked him so many times because they could not find the vein so you know it's very hard sometimes to find a vein yeah. uh, when you go to a hospital a technician is only successful about 60 percent of the time mm -hmm. where they yeah. get it on the first time and you end up being a pin cushion I've had that yeah. myself too there's a robot a prototype robot that uses ultrasound to find your veins and it works especially well when people are dehydrated or have hard or hard to find veins yeah. and it's at an 87 percent success rate so that kind of robotics using ultrasound you'll still have a human involved who'll place it on your arm to find the you know to put it in the right place but i think that we're we're just on the cusp mm -hmm. of some wonderful innovations that may sound a little bit science fiction-y, but I think are really going to help reduce people's pain yeah. and re you know, reduce the anxiety of going and having someone stick a needle in your arm when you know mm -hmm. it's going to be 87% accurate as opposed to, let's just say, someone go, oh, sorry, i got to do yeah, that again. Yeah. I, it's my least favorite word. Right. <laughs> yeah, so sorry. Let's find a new vein. Yes. <laughs> Kelly, great to see you. Good Thanks to see so you much. Too. Thank you, Joe.